uh, Facebook family. Good morning, International Christian Fellowship. Um, if you guys see us on, go ahead and click in and do what you do best. Amen. Um, you know, I just wanted to, um, you know, just come on just for a few seconds. And um, I wanted to talk to you about all of the things that are going in the, wor on, in the world. And I want to talk to you about the cares of the world. Today we having a lot of cares. We've got a lot of things going on. And I just want to encourage you, uh, family and friends, and those of you who are looking at me this morning, uh, who have tuned in or had the, the privilege of, of, of scrolling by and caught my face and figured, what is this lady talking about? I, I, I don't want you to be concerned about the things that are going on in the world. Um, and I'm not, I'm not saying not doing anything about it, okay, because our voice is the most powerful thing that we could ever have. Amen. Uh, we can protest, but we can protest uh, without being angry. And a lot of people have protested without being angry. But then I believe, this is my only thought, I believe that some people came in that had different agendas, um, which kind of uh, made it look bad. But I believe that a lot of us with great wisdom understand what has happened in that area. Um, but I, I don't want people to, to be in fear and to be in concern. Um, and so, you know, you know, I would like for you, if you got your Bibles with you or you got your phone with you, go ahead and scroll or turn to the page of uh, 1 Peter 5 and 7. And I'm going to go to, in that scripture in the Amplified, and also we will have it up on the screen. So if you don't have it, uh, feel free, just keep looking at the uh, screen and you'll see it. And... Um, um, and I want you to go there um, because I don't want you to be concerned, okay? I don't want you to be concerned. Somebody say God is in control. God is in control, amen? So let me get my glasses on, okay? All right? Amen? So First Peter 5 and 7 says casting. And I want to stop right there at the word casting. And, 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 it, and, and, and what I have in parentheses here, because I'm always uh, stretching the word as far as I can to make it a little bit more understandable. Uh, casting, meaning to, to throw. You know, how many of you ever been fishing and you got that fish fishing rod in your hand and you don't put your bait on it and all of a sudden you throw your hand all the way back and you cast it as far as you can because you want to get it out as far as you can so that bait can go as deep as it can amen so casting meaning to throw amen all your cares and all your anxieties and all of your worries let's let's go there for a minute because there's some people that is dealing with anxiety in this season right now some people are worried right now we got the business owners right now they're in anxiety and they are in worry and i understand that i understand that the fact that you are trying to protect your business because your business is your 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 way of survival and so i just want to say this I understand that okay so you have to do whatever you have to do but you know let's not do it and be angry amen let's not do it and be angry but it says here cast all your cares and your anxieties and all your worries and all your concerns once and for all can I stop right there once and for all once you cast it your cares your worries and your concerns those things that got you in the state of fear you know, in, 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 in fear of the unknown, says once you cast it, pretty much just leave it there. Amen. Don't go back to get it, okay? It says cast uh, once and for all on him. Once we cast it on to him, we leave it there, right? It says this, and this is what I love so much. It says that he cares about you with the deepest affection. He cares about you, business owners. Okay, he cares about you with the deepest affection. Even those that are protesting, he cares about you with the deepest affection. And he watches over you very, very carefully. So we're going to cast these things. And we're going to cast this anxiety. We're going to cast this worry. We're going to protect our property. We're going to protest. And we're going to do it, listen, <laughs> 
in the grace of the Lord. We're going to do it. We're going to do it decent in order. We're not going to tear up no things, you know, and I wish it was some kind of way we could weed the other people out so that these demonstrations would, 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 would be done in excellence. Because I, one thing I know about Martin Luther King, he never had any type of violence. And I told Pastor Kimberly this the other day. I said his name is on every street in every major urban city. They named streets after him because he did everything in excellence. God was behind him. And if it had not been for him back then, we wouldn't be where we are today. And so he did everything in excellence. He did everything in the love of Christ. And, and he stood and he was decent and he was in order. They even have a holiday and I get paid for it. Amen. So I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that. But so we're not making light of things. We just got to make sure that when we go represent who we are, we represent whom's we are. Amen. So I, I want to say that. So somebody say, once and for all, once and for all, amen, cause, listen to this, sometimes when we cast all our cares on the Lord, we pray and we cry out, and so the thing is, we have to know this one thing, that in all things, God will work, to, work all these things out for the good of them that love God. For those who love him, he said, I'll work it out for you. I'll work it out for you. I'll, I'll turn this bad situation around and I'll turn it for the good. He said, I just need you to go out there and represent who you belong to. And that's for all the believers that are going out there representing. Make sure that you are representing the kingdom of God to the utmost. Amen. And I know that you are. I know that you are. So if you could please turn in your Bibles to Psalms 34 and 19. And I'm not going to be before you long. I won't be before you long. All right. Thank you so very much. So one of the things that we got to know this, that we know that we can't handle everything. We just can't handle everything. We got a part to play in it. And it means... That if we can't, God can, and he will, and he will not see us forsaken. He will not, body of Christ, see us forsaken. He's going to go out and he's going to turn things around for our good. And see, he's a God of recompense, and that word recompense means that he's going to pay us back. Listen to this. Oh, my goodness. I heard my, my pastor this morning talk on this, had my hair standing up on my head. But he's going to pay us back for every, every wrong that was done to us. But we have to be decent and in order. We got to walk in the love of Christ Jesus. Yes, we demonstrate. We speak. You understand? We don't criticize. We don't put people down. We don't do that. But we talk. We talk in a way where we know that we got all heaven backing us up. Amen? Amen. So Psalms 34 says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Listen, people. Amen. People of God and people, just people who are listening to me. God is going to deliver us. And I'm not going to say he's going to. Let me use my faith and let it start speaking. God has delivered us from it all. He has delivered us from it all. All means in the Hebrew and the Greek, all. Amen. Everything. So let's not be, uh, get discouraged and well-doing. As long as we know that we're doing well and we're doing it well. But let's go out there. If you want to protest, protest. Okay? Protest. But let's do it unto the Lord. Let's do it decent and in order. Let's do it in love. We can, we can go out there and we can say black, ma black lives matter. They do matter. Our black men, they do matter. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Many of you who know me personally, I love the black man. 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 And every time I come across a black man, I do my best to honor 
to honor that black man because the black man go through so very much. So very much. And so, uh, but how we fight our battles, how we go and how we address this, we address it like this. Because God didn't say he loved the world and their skin and, and depending on their skin color. He said he loved the world of all color. And that's for those of you who are out there that of different races. I want to let you know that International Christian Fellowship love you. Pastor Kimberly and myself, oh, we'll hug and embrace you and hug and kiss you. Look, you might not be able to get us out of your kitchen. <laughs> Amen. Go over to Isaiah 41 and 10. Go over to Isaiah 41 and 10. So, yes, so I, I, I just want to say that, that, that we are overcomers. We are overcomers. We are victorious. And what is going on out there? I have to decree and declare in the name of Jesus that those people that are out there, uh, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, uh, 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 Japanese uh, uh, people from all over, all out there, and they are, they are actually, listen to me, they are all standing up for the cause. There is no division out there. But I have to say this, we are, all of us of all color, are overcomers. We are victorious, all of us, in unity and in love, in the love of Christ. Amen? Isaiah 41 and 10 says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Oh, my goodness. Do you know sometimes when you're going through and it seems like you're all there by yourself and you're going through this by yourself and that family is a Floyd family? Uh, you are not by yourself. You got the whole world standing behind you. Uh, number two, number one, you got God that is standing right there beside you. Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, has not left you for a second. Not for a second. So let me finish up here. So fear thou not for I am with thee and be not dismayed dismayed mean don't be discouraged yes it looks bad yes it sounds bad yes people are doing bad things but I want you not to be discouraged people of God don't be discouraged in this time God says for I am thy God and I will strengthen you come on somebody Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. He said, I got you. I will uphold you. I will strengthen you. I will, I will give you the strength to stand when it looks like you can't stand no more. Come on. So people of God. People that are listening to me. And, and let's say you're not saved. Maybe you're not a believer. I want to let you know that today might be your day. Because I'm going to tell you this, just, just like he saved me and changed my life, today is a day just for you. Amen? Hallelujah. So I want to go ahead and I want to close off on this. Um, I want to say a quick prayer. Um, also for those who are not saved and you heard this message. You heard this message from International Christian Fellowship. Okay? You heard this message. And you saying, Pastor, you said something really great today. All right? And I want to say this, if you have been led, even right now, today, and you say you want to give your, your life to Christ, go ahead and, 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 and pray after me, okay? Because I'm going to tell you this, that no matter what you go through, God, listen, can I say it like this so you can really understand me? God got you. And you don't never have to go through nothing by yourself. He said, I will uphold you. I will strengthen you. I will bring you through. I will pay you back double for all your trouble. Amen? So if you could please, Father, in the name of Jesus, I asked you to forgive me of all my sins. And I do believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, that he died on the cross for all of my sins. I ask you, Jesus, 
that you would come into my heart and that I be born again. By faith, I receive you, Christ. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for those who have said this prayer. And if you would like any more information on salvation, or if you would like to get in contact with International Christian Fellowship, I don't mind giving you my phone number, 602 399 3747. And my name is Pastor Rita. I am the senior pastor of the International Christian Fellowship. Also co-pastoring with me is my blood sister, Pastor Kimberly Perry. And we would love, love to get in contact with you, uh, talk with you about anything that you might need to talk about. And uh, we would love to pray with you, okay? We would love to uh, uh, counsel you. And whatever you might be going through in these times, International Christian Fellowship, we are here to serve the world not just to serve ourselves or just to serve a community. We are here to serve the world, okay? So we love you and we thank you. And um, if you feel, uh, let me say this, if you feel the need and you are inspired to give unto International Christian Fellowship, uh, you can do it by Cash App, okay? And that is uh, dollar sign, ICF, church, and the number one. And we'll see if we can get that thrown up on the screen for you, okay? If you feel led, and I want to let you know this right now, right now today, you are sowing into good ground. International Christian Fellowship is Bible believing, <laughs> listen, Bible toting, Bible speaking, amen, when it, men and women of God, amen, so if you would like to do that, that would be great, I want to thank you all for coming on and listening to me, um, uh, stay in courage, stay in prayer, okay, stay in prayer, the best battle that we can fight is on our knees, and we are guaranteed to come out victorious, okay? If you're gonna go out there and you're gonna protest, go protest, go ahead. Do it decent and in order. Do it in the love of Christ. And I'll tell you this right now, International Christian Fellowship stand 100% behind you. We stand 100% behind you, okay? Because black lives, they do matter. Listen, white lives, lives matter. Asian lives, they all matter. No matter what race you are, your life, it matters. Okay? So we love you. We thank God for you. And um, uh, again, if there is anything, anything you need from us, please, I put my number up there, um, and give us a call. Give us a call. So we would like to thank you. This is a shout out to International Christian Fellowship. You guys are doing a wonderful, wonderful job. So we thank you and we praise God for you. Um, uh, all of the members, uh, you do a wonderful job. Thank you for serving um, in the ministry. Thank you for serving God uh, first and foremost. And God has a blessing just with your name on it. So I just wanted to say that before I left. Thank you and God bless you.